Hello, good friends, it's the Twykeen, and thanks for joining me for another edition of Donkey Kong 64. As it's time for the Kongs to set off on <laughs> a whole new <laughs> set of worlds to take care of. Uh, pretty much only one for this recording session, <laughs> as many of you already know. <laughs> but it's just going to be how it is. And I did not mean to hit three again. And I should have used it to start this episode anyway. What am I thinking? <laughs> and not fooling around. Time to get in this cannon. <laughs> and I realized I'd been using the wrong con to start this episode off. <laughs> I need to get this guy out. <laughs> Because his particular barrel is out there. And if his particular barrel wasn't out here, then who else would I be using? <laughs> Whatever. It's time to get some adventure going through here. And if you don't know what I mean by that, you'll have to look it up. And, uh, and how did I miss that? How did I miss that ledge? And the camera kind of spun backwards on itself like that. That made no sense. Gosh, how did that happen? I, I don't know how I missed that ledge right there. <laughs> but, let's just try it again. Alright, Diddy. Just get in that barrel. Maybe just stay high for once. Man, I really thought I was in there the whole time. Alright. There we go. And my goodness, look at this place. This looks really not awesome. Almost has a wintry theme to it, but um, winter's already over for a lot of us here. <laughs> I'm just gonna get these open with Chunky first, just to start off. Okay, all those are open. And I'm pretty sure that this scene is only used for, yeah, just to reveal Wrinkly Kong doors. But if you may notice, if you may have already noticed, I don't need to use Wrinkly Kong because <laughs> I already know how to complete this game. <laughs> but there should be something of DK's in here. Yeah, his barrel. Um. Come on, DK, you can go much faster than that. Yeah, we're kind of low on crystal coconuts. But that's what happens when the game starts you with half of what they would be. <laughs> half of where you got for banana fairies. <laughs> Alright. Let's see if I can beat the clock here. No. I wanted to see if I could somehow land on the ledge as I turned off his invin invincibility. But that didn't work. But there was something of Lanky's in there as well. And I'm pretty sure I will be using him to start this level anyway. And yep, it would happen to be his blueprint. Jeez, almost simultaneous right there. But at least that got destroyed. And I'm pretty sure in there is something of Chunky's that is not activated quite yet, so I will not be lifting up that boulder. Not right now. <laughs> So that will have to wait for a while. And there should be something of Diddy's as well in here. But yeah, this music really sounds so calming and such. You hardly ever hear that in other places of the game, but I'm kind of interrupting it with all this stuff. <laughs> Including the jam. And I wasn't on the pad. Are you serious? <laughs> Man, why does this game have to be that sensitive? Seriously. Thank you. I'm like, I was totally on that pad the first time. Don't give me that, no you weren't. <laughs> Seriously, don't give me that, no you weren't. <laughs> really don't appreciate that. So before I go up there, I'm gonna take out Lanky. And yeah, he's pretty much the same as um, how Gloomy Galleon started. His bananas were the first to appear at the start of the world. 
So, that same goes with Lanky. <laughs> and 65 gold bananas are what's needed to enter. And do I have more than double that? <laughs> I, I, I really want to know the number. Um, let me exit out the place. I didn't really look at how many bananas total I have. I know a lot of you saw it earlier. 140, okay. That is, um, more than double. It may not have been, if it hadn't been for, um, those two bananas I collected before going in here. Those stubborn apes don't know when they're beat. <laughs> but even they will have to admit defeat after they've tangled with my fiery little pet. You sure they can admit defeat? I don't know. <laughs> that guy. Nothing can stop me now. Their island is doomed. <laughs> ah, there you are. I trust the conks have been dealt with. Yeah. Pardon my language here. Oh, it was awful, master! Those horrible conks threw nasty barrels at me that went bane. Knocked me in the lava, they did, and I've sang both my wings. Then one of them got really big and bunched me in the face. Look at my poor old nose. I want to go and lie down now. I'm not feeling at all well. That's the best I could come up with for that guy. Crystal Caves. One of my favorite worlds for music, but um, it is very, very dark. So lots of things are not going to be easy to see on my TV, which is what I'm not really going to like about this world. Um... As far as what I like about this world, it, it has a lot of um, really interesting gold bananas to collect. And I'm pretty sure lots of worlds can say that too. But um, I think one thing I will do to start the episode is, um, not start the world rather, is um, go on up to somebody well, most well famous. But first we got a cutscene here. Man, did that guy just turn gigantic or what? But he's in charge of making <laughs> those <laughs> stalactites fall, which are not even made of ice. <laughs> and how did that one not hit me? That's something I'd like to know. Yep, making a visit to Cranky first. And yep, he's still gonna ask, would you like another go on my jetpack game? No. So Lanky has earned his next potion for seven coins, and this is why I can't do that one particular banana in Fungi Forest quite yet. And my speakers just crashed already. Orangstan Sprint. Palmas Dashium. <laughs> I can run faster than you, Lanky, even with Karul on my back. <laughs> That's why this potion is a must. Jump into my barrel with your face on it, and you'll emerge like Grease Lightning. Just make sure you've got plenty of crystal coconuts. Not letting you have another potion yet. <laughs> so yep, that move is why I can't do that one particular banana <laughs> in Fungi Forest. And before I go any further, I need to make a quick cut right here. Okay, Lanky. You ready to switch on over to somebody else who hasn't got a potion yet? Like Tiny. <laughs> So, I'm not sure why the game wanted you to wait till the 6th world to get the other Kongs' third potions. But, um, it kind of annoys me. I also wish this would have been implemented for Fungi Force, but it's not. You have to wait till you enter this world for it. And, what's Tiny's potion? Monkey Port. Warpum Craftius. <laughs> I'm really proud of this one, Tiny. If you stand on my pad with your face on it and press Z, you'll be teleported to another location. Blah, 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 blah. But yeah, Tiny's potion. I don't know why she gets the one to, to be the one to teleport to and such. I'm like, can't every why can't every con have that ability? <laughs> I, I'm, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why only Tiny gets that move. And now it's Chunky's move. He gets... 
Gorilla gone. Where's some gone -um? <laughs> That's really funny Latin right there. <laughs> Do us a favor and use this one as often as possible, huh, Chunky? Stand on my pad with your face on it and press Z to turn invisible. Then we don't have to look at your ugly features. Pfft, who you calling ugly? <laughs> Man, if you called De Donkey Kong ugly, he definitely wouldn't like you anymore. I'm pretty sure of that. Um, I think um, I'll break open some ice walls with Chunky first before I um, use any other con right now. Like this. There was another one over there too. And I'm trying to make sure I do not cross over or at least fall through the gaps. At least no cutscene has to happen with the falling of the stalactites again. Oh! No! You can't be serious. Eh. I'm gonna destroy your bigger sibling later on. You understand that? Yep, you got a snide right here. Of course, that won't be done until, um, eh, until after all the other gold bananas have been collected. <laughs> Alright. I think that's uh, almost all the ice walls I can break open with Chunky. Yeah. And as far as those coins of his right there, he can just slide down for them. Let's go ahead and, um... Use Donkey for his Barrel Blast course uh, right here. And hopefully a stalactite doesn't fall on this little walkway I'm on, because I do not want to fall in that water. <laughs> and yet it's shaking up the tag barrel so vigorously, it's like, am I going to be able to select the con I need to move on? That's the big question. Alright, a quick five bananas for Donkey. And I can't remember if this one is Maisie or not. <laughs> Maisie, is that even a word? Oh. Got those. But I'm just gonna follow where bananas are. Ah, uh, there's a coin. Ooh. Just got it. Um. Oh gosh. Are you serious? The hitbox for that was extremely low, if you know what I mean. Now I'm just hoping I don't haven't lost my way to where I was when I fell. That's what I'm most worried about for this Barrel Blast course. <laughs> mm. Oh, just got it. This time it looked like I was wide of the ring, but um, I still got it for some crazy reason. Hmm, this shouldn't be hard. Neither should that. Hmm. That one's really close. Um. Oh, that one almost missed. And a bonus stage. Welcome to bonus stage. It's busy barrel barrage for a third time now. Do I have to survive much longer time? 60 seconds. Yeah, that is quite a long time now. But otherwise, this shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, and I also like the lighting for this particular barrel. If you notice how um, most of them are just like a standard bright light, this one has more... <laughs> red and yellowish lights. <laughs> or, or they're not really yellowish lights. <laughs> I can't really tell. It just feels like it on my end. I don't know about your eyesight, but it kind of feels that way to me. <laughs> Alright. Oh gosh! No! 
What? How are those not going through him? <laughs> I'm gonna insert a replay in that. How did those not hit him? I let's watch the replay right now. Okay. Welcome to bonus day. <laughs> well, of course, I'm uh, <laughs> still in this recording session. <laughs> but um, I just, I just, I, I still don't know how those shots didn't hit him. I really have no idea. It looked like I was aiming right at him. But I guess his hitbox was extremely tiny. Probably only like a, a megapixel or something. And not really um, a couple full pixels. It's gotta be something like that. <laughs> but maybe with the way they come in at me. And no, I didn't even try to jinx myself. Like, only a few seconds left. Can I make it? <laughs> I didn't do anything like that. I I was just one. Uh, it, it's still it again. I guess they figured out how to dodge some of the attacks, like move their hips sideways. It's I think I think that's what they did. It's to some degree. But at least it's finally complete. Yeah, with that one that almost hit me again. I'm going to guess that he like swayed his hips one particular direction to not get hit, because that's what it looks like. It. 